Welcome here on Rügen. It's half past three in the morning and my grandfather and I are driving to the Kreidefelsen. Guys, it's incredibly nice here. Hello, my name is Max. I'm a 14 years old wildlife and nature photographer. Two weeks ago, I was on a trip to an island, the island Rügen. In this and the next video, I will show you the beauty of the island Rügen, amazing animal encounters and a lot more. So be excited and stay tuned. The journey began on Saturday morning at 5 a.m. My siblings, my grandparents and I set off for Rügen. We had a 12 hours drive ahead of us and wanted to leave as early as possible. We drove, drove and drove. But then, after almost 12 hours of driving, we finally arrived at our destination. Our house was right by the sea and we had a view of the sea from the living room. But I didn't rest for long. I immediately went out and explored my environment. Welcome here on Rügen. It's the first evening now. We just um, reached our home for the next six days or actually only five days. And yeah, I went out to discover the region here or my environment to check out for some nice places and I hope I can photograph some birds now and later sunset. And yeah, I'm really looking forward for the next days and I think it will be great and yeah, I have some some places where I will go, um, but you will see this in the next video. And yeah, have fun watching the video and I will go now and photographing some birds here. The first thing I saw on our little beach were wagtails. I tried to photograph them, but these little birds were just too fast and it was difficult to focus. Besides, it was already quite dark. So I went on and tried some long exposures of the sea. I think the photos are quite good, but check out yourself. These were my first reasonably successful pictures of Rügen. Unfortunately, I couldn't photograph the sunset, as the sun sets on the other side of the island. So I went back to our house and looked forward to the next day. When we left the house the next morning, I found a small lizard. Of course, it had to be photographed right away. But it didn't stay there for long. When I came closer, it disappeared. That day, we first went to a small harbor. There I was able to film and photograph some comorants. But that was not that easy. As soon as they emerged from the sea, they were gone again. There were also two mallards in the harbor. They were not shy and I was able to get within a meter of them. I used this opportunity to take some detailed pictures of the plumage and head of these animals. In the evening I tried again with the wagtails. This time I definitely got better pictures because it was not so dark yet and the birds were not so hectic. I also found a few wagtails jumping around on the road and in the grass. The pictures I took there are definitely my favorite pictures of the wagtails from this trip. I also discovered a pair of goose sanders on a stone. I was able to get pretty close and take some photos for you. And then, just as I was on the way back home, I saw this. Guys, I found a deer. Check out this. <laughs> I just walked along. There's a little road here, and then I saw this deer. <laughs> That's so funny. But okay. It's great. 
So maybe I can take some these shots. To be honest, it was already very dark and the young Roebuck was also quite far away. So unfortunately, I couldn't take any pictures. But this encounter with a deer was not the last one on this trip. You can definitely look forward to some more touching deer recordings, but more about that in the next video. And so, with this great conclusion, this day also came to an end. On the third day we took a round trip with an all steam locomotive. This train has a funny name, Rasender Roland. Translated into English it means something like Racing Roland. The steam locomotive dates back to the 80th. It runs on a route that was opened in 1895. At that time the lock transported passengers as well as goods. It was really a bit cozy to be pulled by such a steam locomotive. And to be honest, I feel quite sorry for the environment with all the smoke and soot. But in any case, I tried to take some long exposures of the wagons during driving. And yeah, I was only half successful. I don't like the photos that much. It was still a great experience and we had a great time together that day. Even though we got wet on the way back home. But our good mood, we didn't let spoil. <laughs> good morning guys, it's half past three in the morning and I'm sitting in the car and my grandfather and I are driving to the Kreidefelsen, that's a beautiful place for landscape photography here in Rügen. And here I'm looking forward to take some good photos and yeah, see you later. When we parked our car, we only had to walk a few meters through a forest until we arrived at the beach. I had already been to the chalk cliffs three years ago, but back then it was quite busy and that morning we were all alone. The world was quiet and only the birds were singing. I can only recommend everyone to get up early in the morning, even if it's not that easy sometimes. When we arrive at the beach, I'm fascinated again. This view is just incredible. The white shark cliffs and the rising sun in the background. I was speechless again, as I often am. My grandpa and I first walked a little closer and then I could take my first pictures. I used the twilight to take a few long exposures. Stones in the sea in the foreground and the gigantic rocks in the background. When we wanted to continue walking, my grandfather suddenly stopped. We heard a scream. I saw something swimming in the water in the distance. At first I thought it was a seagull. But as we got closer, we saw two seals playing with each other in the water. I immediately got out my telephoto lens and tried to take some pictures. But that was anything than easy. Most of the time the animals were underwater and it was almost impossible to take pictures and videos. I only managed a few snapshots. The seal we saw there were grey seals. This type of seal is very common in the Baltic Sea. They usually lie on sandbanks and sun themselves. You can go to these sandbanks with tourist ships and watch these seals from a distance of 200 meters. We did that three years ago and I can only advise against it. You can hardly see the grey seals because they are so far away. In addition, the animals are very disturbed as several ships pass by during the day. But now back to the grey seals. In the 90th, seals were heavily hunted for their skin. In 1970, these marine mammals were considered as good as extinct. In the meantime, it is assumed that there are about 30,000 grey seals in the Baltic Sea again. I was very touched by this encounter in the wild. It was such a great feeling to watch these wonderful animals playing undisturbed. 
without any loud ship engines and other people. Guys, one thing I wanted to tell you is that um, when we arrived um, today morning, um, there were two seals playing in the in the sea, and that was incredible. So I never saw a seal in in the wildness. So I think last year we made a boat trip to some seals in the sea, but yeah, that's not really. Or of course it's wild, but I didn't found them myself, and that was incredible today morning and yeah I took some photos of course it's really hard to photograph them because they're most of the time underwater and sometimes the head is looking out of the water and it was an incredible morning and the sun was rising in the background and yeah when the seals disappeared we continued our walk the sun had already risen but the light was still beautiful I found a tree through which I could photograph the chalk cliffs. This picture you see here right now is definitely my favorite picture of the chalk cliffs. At this point everything was just right. These gigantic rocks fascinated me more and more every minute. Here is a size comparison so that you can imagine it a bit better. That's me and that's how big the chalk cliffs are. The chalk cliffs here on the island Rügen are the most famous in the world. These massive rocks of chalk were formed a long time ago. At that time, however, they looked different. They were pointed and interestingly shaped. Gradually, however, its rock formations were washed away by rain and wind. Even then, the cliffs inspired people. The artist Caspar David Friedrich painted a picture of the cliffs, which were still pointed in 1818. In this picture you can clearly see what the chalk cliffs used to look like. Did you know that the chalk cliffs were formed over 70 million years ago? At this time calcareous algae lived in the Baltic Sea. When they died they sank to the bottom of the sea and over time they transformed to the chalk cliffs we know today. But the rocks are not so harmless. A few years ago large pieces of the rocks broke off during a storm. Hundreds of tons of chalk fell into the Baltic Sea, which was then wide for several days. Trees also keep falling from the cliffs. But at the same time it's really fascinating how a tree like this one can hold on the rock. These are somehow surreal pictures. So if you ever get a chance to see the chalk cliffs in Rügen for yourself, please take care. Don't go during or after a heavy rain or storm. Then we had a little breakfast first. I definitely never had such a great view while eating breakfast. But we didn't sit for long. I spotted a few swans in the sea. Of course, I took the opportunity to photograph and film these majestic animals in the morning light. Before we heated back, I wanted to try one more thing. I had a lens ball with me and wanted to photograph it with the chalk cliffs, but the result could have been better. Just as we were walking back a few meters, I spotted another cormorant on a rock. I was able to get pretty close and take a few nice shots. Afterwards, we really walked. First along the beach, then through the small forest and then we were at the car. Okay, we're walking back now to the car um, and we're buying some breakfast for the family and then we're eating at home. But it was a really nice day um, or morning, so yeah. And thanks again to my grandfather because he stand up really early at 3 a.m. and he followed me here he drove me here and that's really nice so thanks again that's already the end of this first episode from my trip to Rügen I hope you enjoyed it and I would be very happy about a subscription and a thumb up I hope you will tune in next week on Saturday for the second and final episode too 
There's a lot more waiting for you. I promise.